Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Carpal Tunnel Program. Uh, this is video number four in what has been a four part series. And I'm really, really excited to be able to share this with you. And I really do hope that you've enjoyed the videos so far and you've managed to learn and, and implement some of the things that I've been able to share with you for really, really good purposes and good reasons. And finally start to just reduce the pain and inflammation in your hand and start getting back to normal so you can start doing the things you love to do. So really quick, I'm sure you're bored of hearing this, but um, my name is James and I'm a trainee doctor based in Nottingham, England. And I really wanted to bring together amazing and well-leading doctors to be able to share information like this that I'm sharing with you so that people could just better understand their conditions and just beat them. So in this video, we're going to be talking about even more exercises to beat carpal tunnel. And I'm going to share with you treatments that are available. And I've got a special opportunity for some of you known as the Fresh Reality 7 Step Approach, which I'm really excited to share. So let's get right into it. Um, so these uh, following stretches and acupressure uh, combination is actually recommended by Dr. Mark Wiley. So thank you for that. So the first stretch uh, you might be able to see from the picture here is really, really simple. And the way you're going to achieve this is by firstly bending your arm at the elbow. You don't need to do this with a straight arm. Um, put your palm facing out and down. And then with your other hand using the sort of the, um, the side of your palm, in fact, where your pinky is. And press down on the edge of your other hand on the fingers. And hold that for about 20-30 seconds. And you should almost immediately begin to feel the stretch along the carpal area here and coming down your forearm it's a wonderful stretch very similar to another one i showed you before this one is a slight alteration and it really really is good for opening up this area so obviously do that for about 20 30 seconds and change hands so stretch number two is quite similar so shake it out from the first one and then you can dive straight into stretch number two and it's quite similar except this time you're going to be engaging the thumb as well so again, using the side of your opposing hand, you're going to bring it slightly further across the hand you're going to stretch. So it's um, overlapping the thumb. And when you press, you're not going to press directly down this time, but instead you're going to press across. So what I want you to do is aim actually over and down towards your thumb. And this way you'll create another stretch, but a slightly different angle and you're going to open up in a different way, testing the, the muscles and the joints here in a slightly different dynamic. And once again, we're going to hold it for the usual 20 to 30 seconds and change hands. So you can pause this whenever you like. And um, I'm going to move on, but pause it as you feel for it, as you feel fit. And, um, and make sure you focus on the form and are comfortable with it before you move on. So acupressure is a technique um, where basically we put pressure on certain points in the body that are known to tie up and cause blockages in, I'll say the term energy, although more specifically we're talking about uh, the electrical impulses and the circulation in your in your vessels. So the first point we're going to expose, uh, we have to be able to find it. And the way you do this is you clench your fist as we, as we can see in the picture. And what this would do is this will cause this tendon to, to flex and to expose itself. What you're looking for is this little patch here just below on the underside of this tendon, there's a small little do it there and that's where you're going to put the pressure so using your thumb find that space and put pressure on it and you can use your other fingers on the back side of your forearm to brace yourself and put a fair amount of pressure it shouldn't hurt but you should do it enough so that you actually feel your fingers start to curl in um, as you press on that tendon responsible for flexing these um, digits then it will actually naturally just start to curl in but make sure you relax your hand Hold that for 30 seconds and let go. Now acupressure number two, again, we have to locate and it's slightly different for each person. So I'm gonna show you using the pictures how to locate it exactly. The first thing you need to do is find the joint in between your bones in the forearm and your wrist. You'll find like a little uh, divot there once again, um, the transverse carpal area, and you'll, you'll find like a little dip between the bones and what you need to do is place your finger there firstly um, next what I want you to do is place the base of your first finger the knuckle where it meets the palm in that in that um, divot you just found 
pointing it up your forearm. And now where it lands, in the middle of your two bones, you should feel two bony landmarks. These are the two bones of your, your forearm, the radius and ulna. Find that space in the middle, and that is where you want to be. And all you need to do is replace that spot now where your finger is with your thumb and push down again for 30 seconds and hold that. Now, I definitely recommend repeating the cycle at least another time, but feel free to go back and do it a few times and definitely do this on a daily occasion. It's really, really good. Okay, so something I get all the time and I know we touched on in an earlier video is how to reduce pain. And if you don't wanna be popping pills every day, which I completely understand and support, then well, what else is there? Well, firstly, the pain will naturally diminish when the problem does. So when we tackle the um, the muscle imbalances and inflammation that, that's happening, occurring in the hands and the wrists and the forearm, then the pain will naturally um, slow down and stop. But there are things you can do in the meantime because it's not always a very, very quick thing. And so you want to be able to focus and get rid of the pain during this time. So I'm going to share with you something that I know is incredibly powerful, the power of the mind using something called affirmations. I use these all the time for a number of different things and I really, really can't speak more highly enough of them. Now, an affirmation for anyone who might not know uh, is simply stating emphatically or publicly an encouragement and support but of yourself. It really is tackling the, both the conscious and the subconscious mind by repeatedly affirming yourself of something. Now, the power of the mind, especially in medicine and health, is phenomenal. You know, we are quite familiar and most people are with the concept of placebo this is something that all pharmaceutical companies have to test against because when you're expecting good things they will happen regardless of what medications you're taking and so this is a way of empowering your mind to do just that and numerous studies support how powerful this is and this first one actually studied the effects of stress on cognitive um, abilities you know you, your your brain's capacity to carry out certain tasks and they found those who were chronically stressed to perform much much worse than people who weren't uh, just being stressed in that emotional state really diminishes your ability but after just some self affirmations they tested the same as everyone else it was phenomenal and now in another one that related specifically to pain um, at Franklin University they found uh, uh, some amazing results and they showed that simply by affirming yourself that you're pain free, it helped them cope with chronic pain to such a degree, it was really, really good. Now this is a, a personal testament from a lady who, as you can read here, she says, I seriously couldn't function without them. In a pain flare up, they prevent me from entering a spiral of negative thoughts that in the past led to depression and even suicidal thoughts. Sometimes I only have to repeat the affirmations a couple of times, while other times I have to read them over and over throughout the day. But they have helped me make it through another moment, another hour and another day. And that's quite powerful and quite touching, but they really, really are lifesavers. Um, and in the studies, they found that simple manipulations, just saying simple things, contribute to huge improvements, significant improvements among patients suffering with chronic pain conditions. So the answer, so really, what is it? Can you um, can you do? Sorry, can we cut that actually? Um, let me start that again. So. And in that study, they showed that just by doing simple, simple affirmations, manipulations, they found that there was a substantial, a significant improvement in patients suffering with chronic pain conditions. So, question, what affirmations can you do? Well, there is such an array, it's a huge choice, and I encourage you to use your own or whatever you feel comfortable with. But here's, I've just written down a few here that I know a lot of people use and are really good. Um, so saying just some things like, I feel no pain, my pain is disappearing, I'm happy, I'm healing, I will overcome this. Now the idea and the theory behind affirmations is you're using positive thoughts. Um, so you're using the positive version rather than saying, um, oh, cut, 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 cut. Um, so the, the idea behind affirmations is you're using the positive version of a sentence. So saying, I feel no pain, and uh, I'm feeling better, you're really focusing the positive elements rather than just addressing the negatives. And the idea here is that you, you really address both the conscious and the subconscious mind. I mean, pain is just perception. It is simply what your brain 
tells you it is and you can reprogram that and it is easy and effective and what i suggest is you use this in combination either with meditation and breathing exercises finding that time of the day to just relax close your eyes take a few big breaths and just say these things over and over again and you will feel a difference you absolutely will and you can use these in combination with visualization techniques as well so i suggest yeah definitely go and have a look at things like that so what treatments are available to you so well in the mainstream world there are really just two main ones um but whatever you do whether you decide to use sort of the natural more holistic approach um or whether you decide to go into hospital and get treatment the one thing i should say and just like mark bronson has echoed here is the longer you wait the worse it gets so you know do something do act on your health because you owe it to yourself you deserve to be healthy and happy and so please do act on it now the first i'll talk about is the cortisone injections and this is really the first port of call you find in hospitals after they diagnose you the carpal tunnel they'll go for injections and people tend to do these repeatedly separated by either weeks or months apart and what these injections simply do is they inject into your joint a strong steroid and what this does is it suppresses your immune system to reduce inflammation now there are a number of side effects and unfortunately you can only do these a few times in your life because they're so potent that they're very damaging and so doctors tend to only use them a few times and if that doesn't fix the problem then yeah you guessed it goes on to surgery um but the important thing to remember is here is it is generally a temporary fix unless it's really done something to tackle the problem then it's only going to come back it's just buying yourself time and the failure rate of this you know including partial success is 72.6 percent after one year and after further years yeah it goes even higher and three out of patients who receive steroids just went on to get the surgery anyway so it really is evidence that it's just buying yourself time so the next one is surgery now this is a big one and what they do during surgery is they cut that that carpal ligament that houses the the carpal bones and the, and the tendons the median nerve in a hope that it will give yourself some more space now there are of course certain risks with that accompany any surgical procedure but generally it's fairly safe but the answer the question is is it successful and i don't think it's successful enough i don't think it's the true answer and i'm reserved about ever undermining the wildly complex anatomy of the human body i mean we are beautiful creatures we're evolved in such a way to be perfectly assimilated with our environment and i almost everything in your body is there for a reason and when you quickly go in to do something like that to cut the carpal ligament it's no surprise that this carpal ligament offers a function and that is to offer leverage to the, to the tendons and ligaments that operate through your forearm and wrist and hand and so it's difficult for these people without it and then to go back to their jobs and to go back to their passions and their hobbies and that is the saddest thing when you see people who have to give up their instruments and give up drawing and art and give up their career just because of something so so simple and so avoidable so you see here only 25 percent of all patients are able to return to their previous professions following surgery and up to 36 percent will get unlimited treatment now uh, i have included a picture here of the process that is carpal tunnel release so if you're a bit squirmish i definitely uh, recommend looking away now while i'll show you so this is the basic procedure of what they do now they can do it what's called uh, endoscopically or keyhole where they can um do it with minimal scarring and minimal trauma to the hand and it's definitely a, a more safe way of doing it although in some cases and in some severe instances of carpal tunnel they will still opt for the open uh, surgery route so yeah pretty graphic and of course like most uh, treatments it costs a lot of money now if you are in england and you're fortunate enough to benefit from this system that's great but i know a lot of people across the world will have to pay for these treatments and they're not cheap so at least you want something good in return for your money and that is often not the case with this so let me be a bit presumptuous for a moment and i would say that for people who are listening who have developed this condition i would say you weren't born with it and i would say that didn't happen overnight but progressively this has erupted and now is causing a huge huge problem in your life and you want to see gone of it but the thing to remember is there is a cause behind it there's something that's making it worse and without attending to that problem the root cause you'll just be surrendering to this problem for a lifetime 
So ask yourself, do you want to be popping pills the rest of your life, which all come with their own side effects? And when this option fails, you know, going for surgery, which apart from leaving you with a nice scar, won't necessarily cure the problem and will just help you lose faith in the, edu- in the health system. So with regard to the surgery, the ligament that's in your hand, you've always had it. And was it ever causing a problem before? No, of course not. And is it actually causing a problem now? No, it definitely isn't. It's simply a stopgap measure when they cut it. Um, it's like the way I think about it is like getting a puncture in your tire and deciding the other solution is to just take off the wheel. No more wheel, no more puncture, right? Absolutely not. Now, it's simple. The contents in your wrist have become enlarged and inflamed. But the beautiful thing, the astounding piece of logic is that this is reversible. So it is inflamed for a reason. So tackle that reason. So I do not ask you to believe me or other doctors that condone the treatment that I suggest. You know, you're all smart people and you can all make up your own decision. I just hope that the information I tender will help you be more informed in the decision that you do make. And for something that isn't so important to everyone, their health, it's only fair that you should consider all the options available to you. Uh, it just I, it makes me so upset when I see people who are just a failed statistic. You know, they've gone through the system and it hasn't worked for them, unsurprisingly, and they're just left out of pocket with the scars on their hands and still with a lingering problem that is affecting their life. So I would like to invite you to Fresh Reality's Carpal Tunnel Cure Members Area. And as a member, you will have unlimited and exclusive access to all the resources there available to you to help rid yourself of carpal tunnel syndrome. So firstly, you will have the Carpal Tunnel, The Truth, The Cure ebook. And this is a complete and all-encompassing book that informs you everything you need to know about the condition, the causes, the treatments available, how to diagnose yourself, and what treatment is best and how to carry it out. And of course, there's a complete nutritional guide and including recipes. And what also is in there is the Fresh Reality 7-Step Approach to Cure Carpal Tunnel. We detail the easy guide to help you rid yourself of this condition. Now, of course, that wouldn't be complete without also the video series. So as part of that, you get the Carpal Tunnel, the Truth to Cure video series, which is literally a day-by-day video series, but we run through so many exercises, including massage, acupressure, strength exercises, and stretches. Organized perfectly, day by day, all you have to do is click on the day, up pops the video, and you just have to sit back, watch it, and copy the moves as it does. It's super easy, and it's amazing. And here's some words from uh, Zev Cohen. And uh, Dr. Cohen says, amazing this hasn't been thought of before. How could years of research, millions of dollars spent on testing and thousands of physicians and therapists overlook the answer to carpal tunnel syndrome? And it's simple, by looking at the symptoms and not the cause. Physicians are taught to look at muscles, aren't taught to look at muscles as a cause of joint pain. And this information changed my entire medical practice. It would change your life. So as well as all that, you also get access to the interactive forum. In your exclusive members area, you'll be able to chat with other members, share ideas, share opinions and thoughts. Because the worst thing is the feeling of doing it alone, but you don't have to feel that way when you're part of this interactive global community. Now, of course, for people who sign up today, there is also bonuses. First of all, we've got a podcast with Helma Volk, who was crowned the Carpal Tunnel Master. She walks you through the do's and don'ts of Carpal Tunnel, and she really is a wise guru when it comes to this. And second of all, we're going to provide you with a downloadable journal where you can track your process. It has tick boxes there for your daily exercises and allows you to assess your pain so you can see exactly how you're improving. And of course, if there's any problems, then you can only submit your journal and we can see how you're doing and advise on that. And of course, we're only once one click away the fresh reality team we're always here to help and so just a click of a button you can reach us if you have a question you concern about something or you just want to chat we're right there for you and we're with you every step of the way so put a world of knowledge in your hands gain yourself a fresh perspective and a fresh outlook a fresh reality and you can get all of this plus the bonus material and a limited access to the members area for today's price of only 67 usually it's 97 dollars but I challenge you to try this and not improve. You owe it to yourself to invest in yourself, to invest in your health. And I do believe this is the right move, as do many other healthcare professionals. So much that we offer a guarantee on this treatment so you've got nothing to lose. That if after 60 days you're not improved, have your money back and a huge personal apology from myself. Whilst I recognise it won't work for every 
person with carpal tunnel, I know I can help a lot of people and this really will. So if you think you're one of these people, then I really would like to know you and I'd love to invite you. So I hope to see you in the members area soon. Click the link, I'll be on the screen or below. But listen, whether you choose to accept this offer or you choose another path, thank you so much for taking the time to learn about what we humbly offer the world. I hope you've enjoyed these videos and the information we've offered. I hope you understand the change that we hope to implement. And I wish you all the health and happiness you deserve, whatever your reality. All the best, everyone. Thank you.